Got my hands on a 4K Need for Speed game. Need for Speed Payback is coming this year, and I played it on the Xbox One X, and it looked amazing. This is uh, Ghost Games saying, yeah, we can do daytime as well, uh, and we can remember what it's like to smash cars and make them crash just like we did in our Burnout franchise when many of the Ghost Game people were working on Criterion. Now, this is a, you know, a story-infused Need for Speed game, so it's impossible not to make the comparison to the Fast and the Furious franchise. Uh, you do sort of meet up with all these really cool, fearless people uh, who are ready to race cars as fast as they possibly can and then steal cars that are a little bit faster and jump them out of the back of a truck and then be chased by cops and take out all of these other SUVs. Always bad guys and black SUVs. I don't know why that always has to be the case, but that's what I was doing. I was bashing cars all over the place being chased, racing as fast as I possibly could, and I had a lot of fun. I did feel, though, that as I was racing and I was smashing these cars, because Need for Speed is different than Burnout, let's be honest here, when the camera would pivot and go into super slow-mo to show me these dramatic explosions and cars flying all over the place, it would kind of disorient me a, l a little bit and I'd come back to racing and I'd be sort of pointing in the wrong direction and I'd smash and crash and uh, have to deal with all that. But I was able to, and I came away with a giant smile on my face because the, uh, the stimulation of these beautiful graphics and awesome environmental effects and cool music and sassy characters uh, was actually very enthralling. And I think this is going to be one of the big hits of the year. Need for Speed Payback looks amazing. Can't wait for it. I, I think it's going to be one that I'm really going to be enjoying on an Xbox One X later on this year.